Hello everyone, this is Caitlin with the Twinsburg Library, here for a really cool story and art projects. Plural, because we're going to have all kinds of fun. And today we're going to talk about two of Miss Caitlin's favorite, favorite things. We're going to talk about art and dinosaurs. It's going to be awesome. So this book is called If Da Vinci Painted a Dinosaur, and it is written by Amy Newbold. And the pictures were drawn by her husband, Greg Newbold. And this is a really, really, really cool story. And we want to thank Tilbury House Publishers for letting us use this book. So let's learn about some artists and dinosaurs. If you drew a dinosaur, you might start with an oval body, then add a head and four legs. You could draw triangles down its back and add a spiky tail. But if Leonardo da Vinci drew a dinosaur, it might look like this. There is more than one way to draw or paint a dinosaur. I like that one. Look at that. Edgar Degas draws pastel dancers turning playful pirouettes. Cassius Coolidge creates a Cretaceous card game. Uh, who knew dinosaurs were so talented? Let's see. Do you see dinosaurs surfing Katsushika, Katsushika Hokusai's giant wave? Oh, look at those surfers! Dinosaurs stop to smell the flowers in Mary Cassette's garden and graze in Grandma Moses' green valley. Parrots play peekaboo in Frida Kahlo's portrait. Kibeshi's dinosaur washes through an inky bad boot bamboo. Go. Snippity snip, the paper dinosaurs of Henry Matisse tumble across a wall. That would be a really good project for you guys to do. See if you can cut out the dinosaurs. Stomp, stomp, stamp. Three toed tracks surround Andy Warhol's dinosaur soup. Mmm. You guys see the dinosaur stuff, Prince? How many dinosaurs hide in Diego Rivera's lilies? You guys see them? Let me get closer. I see eyeballs hiding in there. Frank Mark paints a herd of brilliant blue. How pretty. I like the blue dinosaurs. Dinosaurs leap and play in a painting by Harrison Begay, while Alma Thomas's creatures swirl in a kaleidoscope of color. A Jurassic jazz band makes the dinosaurs of Aaron Douglas swing. Look at that. We got one playing the trumpet, one playing the saxophone, and some boogieing down. Who basks under Mark Rothko's prehistoric sun? With triangles and squares, Louis Manolo Jones shapes her Keratopsian mask. Ooh, look at that. Dinosaurs roam Marguerite Zorak's curving landscape. <gasps> Boom! Crash! Crunk! Here comes a dinosaur by Edward Munch! Oh no! How do you think he feels about that? A little scared? I would be scared too if there was a giant dinosaur foot coming down. It's one of my favorites. If a dinosaur sat for a portrait by Leonardo da Vinci, it would be... Dino Lisa! Look at that! I love it! How will you paint your dinosaur? Look at that! You can draw your own dinosaur now! And this book is really cool because it gives you little biographies about all the artists you saw. So, I think we should take their challenge and draw a dinosaur. Now, they showed you at the beginning, but you can go back in the video and pause it to see if you want to draw a dinosaur that way. I'm going to show you two other ways to draw a dinosaur, and then we're going to learn a little bit about a Picasso and Michelangelo. So you ready? Let's do it. One of my first ways we're going to draw a dinosaur is that we're actually going to trace our hands. Now I want you to take your hand, and I want you to make, this is actually the letter Y in sign language. So you can stick out your pinky and your thumb, and we are going to lay it down on a piece of paper. And then all you have to do is trace it. All the way around, and there we go. You guys can see it. No, I'm actually going to use a crayon to make it a little darker so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay. Mm 
There you go. Now you can see it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom where our wrist is, we draw a little line here, and a little line here, and we're going to make some legs. And then he needs a belly. And then we're going to add a couple of angles. And so he has four legs. I'll bring it up so you can see. There we go. Now it's still not really looking like a dinosaur, even though he has legs. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a line across here, and then our folded fingers are going to turn into his back fin. We're going to turn his thumb into his head with an eyeball and a little smile. Look at that! He's got his head, his back fin, and a tail! That was a super easy dinosaur, right? Alright, our other way of drawing a dinosaur is a little silly, but you kind of have to have a little dinosaur toy. Now, I don't have a dinosaur toy, so I had to make do with what I had, so I sculpted one out of clay. It's not the greatest dinosaur, but it'll work for this! So let's give it a try. Well, this is a great project to do outside in the sun, and you could actually turn it into a science experiment by taking the paper, drawing your dinosaur, or tracing your dinosaur, and then doing it again later to see how the shadow changes, because this one is all about shadows. So I've got my light on over here, and if you guys can see, it casts a shadow for my dinosaur. So I'm gonna use that shadow and just trace it like this all the way around. And then we're gonna take that outline and make it look a little bit more like a dinosaur. Like he needs an eye, he needs his mouth. And by golly, look! It's a dinosaur! That's the one I did earlier. He's a silly looking, but it's kind of fun. All right, but now comes the artists that we're gonna learn about now that we have a couple of dinosaurs. First one we're gonna talk about is Picasso. And Picasso is known for doing some pretty crazy stuff. Look at that! We throw a person and there's a nose going that way, a mouth going that way. It's all kinds of crazy. So let's see if we can make a crazy dinosaur. I took the dinosaur I made earlier, and they colored it and made it all pretty. And then I cut him out, but I also cut out off his arms and his legs and his tail. Oh my goodness! And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your dinosaur and you're gonna put him back together, but you're gonna put him back together all weird, like a Picasso painting. See that? So we'll put, let's see, you guys can see it. We're gonna put his head over here, we're gonna put his arms up here. We'll keep his tail down here, but we'll have it going down like that. And we're gonna give him his legs back, but we're gonna move him really close. And by golly, look, we've got a really weird looking dinosaur. But you can glue those down and make your own Picasso art. And then the next one we can do is we're gonna draw, we're actually going to color or paint like uh, Michelangelo. So Michelangelo is known for something called the Sistine Chapel. And what he did was he painted these beautiful skates like that. You can see them. This is really big, but he painted them on the ceiling. So he had to build a big scaffold and lay on the wood and paint on his back. So what you guys can do is I'm going to bring this with me real quick. Nope, don't touch it. Huh. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go down underneath the table. We're going to take this and you're going to want to tape it to the bottom of your desk or your table and then you're going to lie all the way down on your back and you're going to paint or color or draw your dinosaur from down here. Do you guys think you can do it? I want to see those pictures. If you guys want to send them to, at, to librarian at twinsburglibrary.org, I would love to see your art. And thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!